Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaylee and I do a ton of cleaning motivation videos. Today's video, I'm doing multiple things. I'm just basically deep cleaning my downstairs. Also, I got Dixie a two-story house, <laughs> so I'm gonna be building that in this video and also reorganizing and refilling my fridge. So let's go ahead and start with that. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> It's a remedy, remedy So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I get questions all the time about camera settings, filming, editing. With Skillshare, you're able to learn all about that and more. They have interior designing classes, photography, film and video. It's specifically for learning, so there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. And for less than $10 a month, you can get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions of people. And there is one video in particular that I'm so blessed that I was able to find and able to watch and learn from. The teacher's name is JC Corez. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. He's a YouTuber and a physical therapist, and he did an entire video on Final Cut Pro. That's majority of the time, that's what people use to edit their videos. So with all of that being said, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in my description box will get a free trial with the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. And I wanna see more of my subscribers making channels. I think it's amazing. I get questions all the time and I try to answer to the the best of my ability, but this is going to help you a lot. So with all of that, let's get back into the motivation. So let us be crazy.
Okay, so I got new curtains for the kitchen and the living room. They're both neutral colors. I love them so much and they're longer as well. So it looks a little bit nicer. I also got new decor for the living room. I got a mirror and a little picture that I actually have in our bedroom as well. I just, I love it. So I bought it again. So I'm doing that really quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and build Dixie's two-story house. Um, I fast forward through it because it took me about like three hours to build. But I think I'm going to either stain it or paint it. And I do need to get like new carpet and fix the stairs and stuff like that. There's some like little updates that I want to do to it. That way it's easier for her and more comfortable for her to like walk up and stuff because the stairs are really steep on it. Ignore my hairstyle and my face right now. 
Um, but I'm about to put out our new rug for our new table. It's the same exact one, except it's a little bit bigger because we have a bigger table now. I am absolutely in love with this table. We're going to have it forever. But um, the reason why we got a new table was because if you don't follow me on Instagram or you don't have one, we applied for a house. We got accepted and we were supposed to move um, February 15th. Um, the realtor and I agreed upon a date and the homeowner and I agreed upon a date and everything was set. I was just waiting for the paperwork. So about four days went by and I got a text after telling my landlord here, my neighbors that we were moving. Um, I bought a new table because we were gonna have more space. I bought a new rug for the table, just a bunch of different things within those four days. I was like, yes, I'm excited. Like after I get done, like hanging out with my family, like I'm gonna have to start packing um, because I was trying to be extra prepared for this move because every single time we move, it's like really hectic. Um, so our realtor texted us and said, hey, I don't know what's going on with this lady, but she's declining y'all now. And I was like, huh, what do you mean? Um, I was really sad, uh, a little frustrated because um, I don't see how people do that. I mean, we, like we paid, um, well actually she, okay, no, this is weird. So the homeowner told our realtor that we didn't have to pay the application fees unless we moved to the next step. And that didn't really click for me until after the situation went down because I thought it was really strange. So, um, because why would they go through the process of doing a background check? Um, looking at pay stubs, tax forms, um, rental history, calling, you know, people that we rented from before. Why go through all of that without like making us pay? I don't know, it was really weird. So anyway, she didn't make us pay, but she accepted us um, and did all of that. Went through all of that work and time and scheduling, looking at the house, everything. So anyway, all that went down. And she said that she's declining us. Well, then I noticed that she took the entire house off the market. Um, and with that, the lady actually lives there. So she's the homeowner. She lives there. And she's also her own realtor, right? So she that's what she does for a job. So she's able to, like, list her own house and do whatever she wants with it. So I was sad, confused, very frustrated. But at the same time, things don't work out. And that's okay. So it just wasn't meant to be. And who knows, we could have had a bunch of issues at that house or something. So with all that being said, now we have a bigger table. I gave the other table that we had to my dad because he just moved here with my stepmom. They have their own place. It's really exciting. I'm excited to have both my parents in the same state again. Um, but yeah, so I just told them like, save your money, use this in the meantime, because moving is really expensive. Let like they're they came from indiana so they had to move all of their stuff down here and like getting a new place like all these different types of fees my dad has his own business so um if you're in the area um around houston conroe katy the woodlands um montgomery uh texas all those surrounding areas if you need a fence my dad can hook you up or if you need like a deck built my dad can hook you up um and so he does a bunch of different things like roofing and whatnot. But anyway, if you need any of that, message me. I will help my dad if I can. So um, anyway, with all that, like with the moving here, I was like, take my table, use it. And then like if my brother gets here and wants his own apartment, then he can have that table as well. We'll just like pass it down. So um, we got this table and I'm so obsessed with it. It was like four eighty nine or something like that so um which is very surprising to me because the quality of this is like insane it's so nice it was less than a hundred dollars more than i paid for my white one and i was like what uh so yeah i got it at american furniture warehouse in katy texas and um i wish they would sponsor me and i wish they would give me free furniture because i would like redo everything but they don't, but I absolutely love their stuff. Um, and all of their stuff is really affordable. So I'm gonna leave the link down to their website. Um, and then you guys can check it out if you want. I'm pretty sure they ship out of Texas. So all of this talking, just to let you know, I'm about to um, undo my new rug and put it underneath this table. PJ might have to help me though, cause I don't know if that's super heavy or not. I'm sure I probably already did a voiceover about Dixie's little area. So I ordered another runner that's gonna be going in the kitchen right now, but with her bed and stuff, 
I went ahead and put the other one over there. So my other one is supposed to come on Monday, but so is this new rug that I'm about to put under the table. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna come early as well because I ordered it, I think the day after or something like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna fix it up. I'm about to leave here in a couple minutes and go to the store to get some like carpet or something because I wanna like updo it a little bit. Um, also, I want to paint it this weekend. So I got a million things to do. Watch me break it, you will swear You're falling into me, touch me, I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, baby, we're free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me Watch me pray. y'all that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed i'm gonna make sure to link down the furniture that i purchased that way you can go look at it if you want to i'm pretty sure they deliver all over the u.s so definitely go check them out they have amazing prices and who knows you might find something else that you like but go ahead and click that bell notification that way you get notified on friday's video that will be going live at 9 a.m but that's it i will see y'all friday morning bye i wish i could make you stop.